always think because I, I think I saw a video, forgot um the name. I think I saw like two clips. I forgot the dude's name, but they both were comedians and they were talking about um like if they were talking about Jesus basically. Um mm-hmm. really. Like if Jesus is if so called real, he's the real thing. That's why I say this identity crisis is actually right. like hundred percent valid, right. real. He said, now if Jesus is so real, we've been praying to Jesus for about four hundred years and he never showed up. And so and he correlated with a joke, of course, because he's a comedian. Um right, saying right. like if Jesus if if he is real, he'll be a nigga. I was like, okay. So, yeah, people like are hurt this identity crisis because of this transatlantic slave right. trade. You still no, see no, it. Jesus is not white. He's not, right. you know, he doesn't have the Ob- Ob- Obrado V05 hot oil treatment, blonde hair. You know, yeah. But, but he's not African either. He's not. He's, yeah. he's, he's Mediterranean. You know what I mean? So he's not white. He's not, he's not, you know, Jake Gyllenhaal, but he's not Idris Elba either. Right. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's like he's he's of Semitic origin. Mm-hmm. You know, he, he is a person of color, right? But exactly. he's not. You know, he's not blue, black, African. But he's not blonde. He's not Thor, right? He's definitely you know not I mean? Thor. He's just not. You yeah. know, so he would J- Jesus of 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 history would have a hard time getting a cab in, in New York City still, right? You know, what I mean, even though he's not quote unquote African, you know what exactly. I mean? So he will still be considered a minority. You know, the one drop move. You got one drop of black blood, you're black in America, right? So Right, one drop of black blood, yeah, you're black in America. You're like, automatically black. 2%, so Jesus definitely right. wasn't white. white. No, right. no, he was not. Yes. So, so yeah, I, I this this and now I want to get into this because this um before um we wrap up because I want to take all your time, but mm-hmm. I want to get into this and maybe we can have you back on to talk about some more stuff because I'm telling you all this dude is a beast, man. This dude is a freaking beast. Make sure you check out um his YouTube channel, BK Apologies. I'm gonna link it down in the description Thanks, below. I mean, this dude is a beast, man. But anyway. <laughs> I want to know, like, how did we get this Bible? Because we get attacks from the New Testament and the Old Testament. Most of all, the New Testament, right. you see those attacks a lot. In the Old Testament, you see the attacks on the commandments. They're inhumane. Sure. They're not. They're sure. weird. They're not normal. Of course, I don't want them to be normal. If this is the 21st century. I'm not surprised that they're not <laughs> normal, but I don't know. But anyway, can you please discuss that? Well, I mean, the the critique Actually, it's funny enough, the critique comes from an actual fictional source, right? Because the Dan, that Dan Brown book, uh, The Da Vinci Code, right? It claims that we didn't have the books of the Bible until the Council of Nicaea. Right. Right? And there is an actual um, book that was written somewhere, I think, 15th or 16th century that claims that in the council, they brought all these parchments and they prayed. And God decided that, you know, he would levitate the, the manuscripts that he liked on the top shelf of the altar. And then the, the, the ones he didn't like were put in the bottom. Right. But that was written way after the Council of Nicaea. Right. And we know actually what happened that council because the people that were there wrote about it. Athanasius wrote about it. Eusebius wrote about it. You know, um, Arius and um, Athanasius, who debated at the council, wrote to each other about the council. And, and what's crazy, we have the letters. Well, we have we have at least Athanasius' letters, who references the correspondence he had with Arian. So it's like we actually have eyewitness testimony of what happened to the council. We don't have to make anything up. We know what happened. And we know that one of the things that were not discussed is which book should be in the Bible. In fact, we have a letter from Constantine telling the bishops to, if you guys can make more copies of the Bible so they can have it for the council. But you can't order Bibles unless there's already Bibles there. You can't right. order, you can't Bibles, order something yeah. that doesn't exist. That's true. <laughs> so, but... um. And in like fact, he didn't come he, in there and say, make the Bibles today. Right. He didn't say that. He said, I need copies. Right. Can you guys make more copies? Because we need them here. Right. It's like you having make a copy of something that didn't exist. Right. Can't have a can't tell somebody to make a copy of 2K and it don't exist. So I mean, yeah. Right. Because they the church already had a working canon even before the birth of Constantine. There's there's a thing mm. called the 
the Mutarian Fragments. Okay. And it has a list of pretty much the New Testament books already. And this is way before Katsuki was even born. The church had a working canon. You know, they had the letters, they had the gospels. Um, it was easier to vet these, these manuscripts because the people that wrote them were still alive when they were making the copies. You know, mm. in fact, if I could show you um, a little chart here, you know, because another thing people would like to say about, you know, it, it's unreliable because it was so far from the actual, you know, what we, we, what we would call the autographs, right? The autographs are the actual, like the first book of John that was ever written. That would be called the autograph. We don't have any of the autographs of the New Testament. We don't, right? But we have copies that are very close to the actual autographs. Now, here is a comparison between the time differences of other books that nobody questions, right? We have Caesar, right? It was written in 144 BC, but the earliest copy doesn't arrive until 900 AD. We have a thousand years separate from the earliest copy to the, the most, to the autograph. And we already have 10 copies of that, right? Plato also, nine, a 900, year, uh, no, a 1200 year gap. We already got seven copies of those, you know? Uh, Diocides, I'm, I'm sure I'm butchering his name. That's a 1300 year gap. Suetonius, Homer. Most of us who went to college, you know, had to read the Iliad. You know, there's a 500 year gap between the earliest copy and when it was written. But the New Testament, the time span is 25 to 50 years from the original copies. Wow. Which means that the copies we've had were actually written probably within the lifetime of at least the disciples of the apostles. Yeah. Yep, you exactly. know, so yep. and oh my goodness. we have twenty four thousand manuscripts. Now, the we the New Testament was of course was written originally in Koine Greek, even though there is uh, some of the church fathers do speak of a Hebrew matter, right? So, but the bulk of New Testament manuscripts were written in Greek, about eight to nine thousand. But then when you add the Coptic and the Syriac. You combine all that, you have at least 24,000 manuscripts of the New Testament. Wow. So, 24,000 compared to 10, 7, 8, 28, right. 643. And just the time span of the years, 1,000, 12,000, 13,000, 800, 500, and 25 to 50 years. So if the wow. New Testament manuscripts aren't reliable, you need to keep that same energy right. with Plato and Caesar. Exactly. But, you know, people are prejudiced, right? Because they don't want the New Testament to be what it is. Mm -mm. But you won't have the same level of scrutiny for these other books that no one questions. No one questions um, Caesar and Plato. No one. At all. No one. Right? So, they quote Plato as if he lived yesterday. Right. But look at the time gap, though. And we, and we already got seven copies? That's mm. crazy. That's, that's so. crazy that and that is just for the um the new test 